Mike, the first half results of Syngenta were slightly better than market expectations. Does this support you against Monsanto's offer that you consider as too low? Well, look, the first half results, of course, started in January, well before any overture from Monsanto. I just think it's, it's, it's ill-considered to imagine that you should judge the worth of Syngenta over a six-month period of time. So I don't, you know, I never looked at it that way, uh, I, but I noted uh, the, uh, some of the commentators on that. I think the results speak to the product pipeline, the accelerating operational leverage program that's going to improve the profitability of the firm. So it was a good set of results. Monsanto's uh, CEO said today Syngenta has no long-term vision. Is this true or what would you answer? Well, I haven't. I've been told that uh, that uh, that was uh, that was said. I haven't seen it myself, but I think it's ironic, isn't it, that uh, what they're proposing is the very thing that we're already in the prospect of. Uh, we're already well underway implementing, and uh, the prospect for Monsanto is to imagine to uh, get their hands on one of the world's top assets uh, in the agricultural industry, our crop protection business, and we have no intention of letting them do that. Certainly not with the term of the proposal that they made. You said no to the Monsanto offer, as you uh, said. Is this, is this definitely or is it only about reaching a higher price? Look, they came with an offer in the middle of April, and we responded to it at the end of April. The facts remain that uh, the, nothing's happened in almost three months. Their offer was rejected by our board after having seriously looked at it as being inadequate. And the only thing that's happened since then is I think uh, they just continue to be unhappy with our answer, but our answer was an unequivocal no on all three of the things that it would need to succeed on for us to, to consider this further. Do you have a plan B in the pocket with one of your peers of the branch? The plan B is the plan A that we're working. The prospects for our company underpinned by the vision that we, uh, that we announced in 2011. It's all coming through, just as we said it was. So you underlined the promising products in the crop protection pipeline. How should this work out successfully when the market environment is still less dynamic? Well, look, I mean, uh, I don't know how 2015 will conclude uh, the overall growth rate in the industry. I think that uh, when I look at the launch of two blockbuster products in two successive years, this is unprecedented in the history of the industry. And uh, when you look at the pipeline between now and 2022, we're set for a continued and sustained period of outperformance. So uh, the, the quality of the Syngenta business has never been better, frankly. So you see you're still on track with the full year results of uh, Syngenta for 2015? Everything's on track.